what's going on y'all it's jp times you are back again with another video and um actually someone hit me up on instagram they dm me saying um they told me to do this video so and look if y'all hit me up man i'll do a video for y'all whatever you know advice or anything or um you know y'all y'all ask me to do a video i most likely will do it for y'all anyways y'all if y'all can like comment and subscribe Try to do all three. If you can't do all three. It's one and the three will help. You know, any, any support helps, man. So I appreciate it, man. Anyways, y'all, let's get to the top 10 tips of, you know, Rainbow Blue Camp. Hey, gun. Isaac! Get on now! Do everything with speed and intensity. So, them drunk instructors. Their mission is to make you just like them. That is their sole mission, to make you just like them. They're screaming to the top of their lungs. Man, you scream back at them. They do everything fast. They do everything with intensity. They, you, you gotta do it just like how they're doing it. That is their mission, to make you a United States Marine. And they are supposed to be the so-called perfect image of the United States Marine. Like I said, do everything to be intensity. Tip number two. That is focus more on calisthenics and cardio. Now this is a tip I'm gonna give you before boot camp. Cause um, when you're down in Paris Island, you're gonna be doing a lot of running. You're gonna do the hiking. You're just gonna do a lot of physical things. So get your cardio right. The cardio will really, getting your cardio up will definitely help you a lot. Calisthenics, build your muscles, build your body up right man. you know what I'm saying? Tell me it'll help you, man. Help you no longer. Cause you know, I, when I went to boot camp, I wasn't really running that much at all. I wasn't really running, I ain't gonna lie to you. Only time I ran was during the, um, Police sessions. <laughs> you know, if you if you if you've enlisted before, you know the debt program. That's the only time I ran. Could you not? I mean, I worked in the gym. I worked out. I was working on weights and stuff. But I would been if I went to boot camp with the condition I'm in now. You know, my strength and you know, my cardio. I would been do way easier for me. When you are running. Breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. Just make sure when you breathe, you get the oxygen in there. Let the oxygen just get in there, you know what I'm saying? Breathe out as you are running. It'll help you, I'm telling you. Ah, I'm telling you, you do that while you're running. You'll, you'll thank me, trust me. Look. Anyways, let's do it. Number three. And that is staying out the drone instructor's radar. Now, what I mean by staying out the drone instructor's radar is basically just staying out of the radar. Like, don't don't let him be the first person. He, he calls in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't let him be, you know, the the person he's always looking to pick. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let him be the always be the the, the person, you know, that knows you're gonna mess up. You know what I'm saying? Stay out that radar. Stay out his sight, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look. Cause you always in his radar, he's always gonna pick with you, he's always gonna do something, he's always gonna call you out. And um it, it's gonna he's gonna make a time on Parasite way harder than it has to be. So stay out of his radar, you wanna make it easier time boot camp, man. I'm telling you. But hey man, you want that challenge, you really want <laughs> you <should. laughs> Look, it's already hard down there, man. So but if you just you just that extreme Go ahead, keep go ahead, mess up. Go ahead, hey man, this is gonna make it sound a lot harder. I'm telling you, stay out of the radar, anyways. Tip number four, that is make the days 
child by child. So what I mean by that is you're gonna have some hard days, man. You know, we know if, you have, if you're having a hard day, man, you know, um, you get three chows per day. So just make, you know, make those days, those hard days you go through chow by chow, you know. You think, oh man, this is really hard. Just, just make it to chow, you know. Take the chow like two hours away. Make the chow, you know. You go back, do it, do something hard again. Oh man, this is really hard too. You go to that third chow, you know. Go to that second chow, man. Just make it chow by chow, man, you know. Today is my easier man. Anyways, tip number five. Get up, get up, blast the bus, blast the bus, get up, get up. I know you're not gonna be on your day on me. Blast the bus. Tip number five is basically the same thing as tip number four, but um, it's only by weeks. So make the weeks Sunday by Sunday. And what I mean by that is just you're gonna have hard weeks. So. Make those weeks Sunday by Sunday because Sunday is a very, very chill day on Parasana, man. Because you know, that's the day you go to church. Every recruit goes to church on Sunday, man. Ugh. Nobody wants to stay back with the drum truckers in the squad bay during church time. I'm telling you, so everybody, even if you were atheist, I don't care what you is Muslim, you were Buddhist, you were atheist, everybody goes to church. Everybody goes to church. Everybody go to church. You want to get away from the drone shop, man. Yeah, I don't care what religion you was. Everybody was in church, man. It was a good time in church, too, man. You know, everybody was singing along to the songs, man. It was, it was, it was a cool time, man. Cool time. Yeah, that's my tip number five. Now for tip number six. Don't be the one to mess up, man. Look. Do not be the one to mess up. I'm telling you, man. Don't, don't, don't be the one to mess up. Look, I've been in two different platoons because of situations that happen down at boot camp. But don't be the one to mess up because everybody's gonna hate you, man. People are not gonna like you. Look, my 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 second platoon, man. I'm telling you, man. People that messed up, they got beat up in the freaking bathroom. Yeah, look, you was you was you was messing up. You constantly messing up. Look, you was gonna take it in the bathroom. You was gonna square up. I, my my second pursuit was rough. It was it was rough. <laughs> Just don't be the one to mess up, man. Like, personally, I never wanted to be the one. You no, know, people look at me like, oh man, he ain't nothing, man. Why? Why? You know, I I like to curse, man. I'm trying to be, you know, trying to be a better Christian. I ain't, I ain't trying to curse. But, you know, the S bag, I ain't trying to be the S bag. You know what I'm saying? A piece of S, you know? Anyway, yo, that's for um, tip number six. Now, tip number seven. You're blown off! Hey, sir! Hey, you got your hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Hey, sir! Do not practice shooting. Don't, 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 don't practice shooting. I'm telling you, it's the guys that go down there on Paris Island with experience, man. And they think they know it all, and they go down on the freaking range and they fail, or they get the lowest score because they went down there thinking they knew it all. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the ones. It's really. I'm not saying you're not. You're not gonna. Um, I'm not saying you're gonna fail if you have experience. Just. Don't go down there with experience and thinking you know it all. Empty your mind out, man. If you got experience, let them teach you. Let them reteach you everything about shooting, man. The ones with no experience usually get the better scores because they don't know anything about shooting. And the Marine Corps is teaching them how to shoot. And they go down there, they get freaking sharpshoot, high sharpshooter, expert, you know, so. Don't practice shoot, man. Don't worry about that. They'll teach you that. Everything you need to know about shooting. How to hold it. You know, sugar, squeeze it, all that. Eyesight. They teach you all that. So don't worry about that. Tip number eight. Daddy's gonna send him real quick. Do you understand? Yes, sir. As soon as you get on that plane and you're on your way to have gas, say you understand? Yes, sir. That is get used to drinking a lot of water, man. Look, I won't I won't speak for San Diego. Cause a person has not been to San Diego, um, but I, I, w I would 
applied this. I ain't gonna say that. I pl apply this to San Diego too, because you wanna know what? You get the same exact training as Paris Island. You know, drink a whole lot of water, man. A whole lot of water. Get used to drink a whole lot of water. Look, I wish I could show you a canteen. A canteen is bigger than this. You gotta drink about 17 of these a day, man. 17 of these a day. You do a lot of physical stuff, and it's not like you wearing shorts either, man. You wearing camis, you wearing thick socks and boots, you wearing an undershirt and a blouse on top of that. You wearing a cover, of course. A freaking rifle, man. A pack, you got a pack in your back. Like, it's a lot of gear, it's a lot of clothing, man. Like, so drink a lot of water. You need it. It's it's vital. It's it's life or death. Literally. I kid you not, my plan with you is life or death if you do not get up on your water, man. I can't stress to you how important drinking water is in Paris Island. Especially in the summer, man. Times all the time I was down there, I was down there during the summer. Grass week was rough. Grass week was rough. That grass was scorching hot. Sun beating down. I had full clothes. We all had full clothing on. I don't think I need to stress to you anymore. I think you know how bad it is. But um, let's skip to um, number nine. If you say I'm not gonna do it up there, and there's more than five, you're going away. You can't even lose my mind. Awesome. So tip number nine. This is very, very important too, man. Please learn how to swim. Please learn how to swim. I can't tell you how many people that's like where most people get dropped, literally. Most people get dropped during swim week. During swim week, most people get dropped. Cause you you can't swim, you're not gonna make it. As it's as simple as that. That's that, that that that's really the case for any anything. But you know, swimming is just something it's difficult, something people a lot of people can't do. So if you don't know how to swim, I'm telling you. I Maybe mean, they're gonna teach you, but it's like, it's so much easier to go down there and experience, man. So learn how to swim now before you go down there. I had boys, you know, I had a couple boys, man. My platoon, man, got a job. Man, I was like, dang, because he couldn't swim. I was I was going down that road too. I, I almost failed. I had trouble. I, I fought through it though. I fought through it. Anyways, let's move on to the last tip, which is tip number 10. I used to eat at Mickey D's. I used to eat at Mickey D's. But now I'm eating at Murray's. Now I'm eating at Murray's. And that is save as much money as possible. So you're gonna get boot camp money, which is about $300 on a card. That's all you're gonna get for the entire time you're in boot camp, 13 weeks. Use that money very fruitfully. Cause once you're out, you're using your own money. And plus on top of that, you get two weeks Marine Week. You get Liberty for two days. Don't blow your money. Save your money, man. I'm telling you, even at the boot camp, MOS school, NCT, there's gonna be times you, you get to spend money. I'm telling you, save your money, bro. Save your money. This it's not, you know, don't think about in the moment, think about in the future and save all your money. Cause when you get out of training, you're gonna look back, man. You're gonna be glad you saved all that money. You're like, dang, I got this in my bank account now. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a PFC too, you save a whole bunch of money. You be straight, man, I'm telling you. But anyways, y'all, um, hope you liked the video. Hope you find this very educational. Take these tips if you're going to boot camp and run with it, man. If you see this, you going to boot camp, take those 10 tips and like, Run with it, cause I didn't take any, I didn't get any tips before I went to boot camp. You know, I didn't really know these things before I went to boot camp at all. But so I, I'm telling you just from experience, man. Um, if you do the boot camp, good luck, man. I wish you the best, man. Um, if you're watching this video, thank you for watching. Um, keep supporting, love y'all, man. Um, I'll see you in the next one, man. Peace, JT Town.